everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. The numbers, Mason! They make me tingle and they're going to make you tingle too. Or maybe not, but still, the numbers are here. Let's take a look. VStats dropped second quarter report, hollow EN plus 100%, while Niji EN is minus 50%. Rise of Face Connect, Vispo, and Neoporte struggles. So here we take a look at everything. Industry share based on total viewing time. So Hollow Live has a good amount of share. Uh, so does Niji Sanji, which is the orange. All the other ones are kind of going in, you know, the wayside. They're, they're still giving a good share. Like the independents have a good, like 25% or more, honestly. So that's not, not a bad thing. We're looking at the live stream statistics by company. The Hollow Live uh, JP has gone uh, up. Hollow Live in general, all of it has gone up by 25%. As a whole, the Sandy has gone up by 9%, propped up by their JP side because the EN side has had a drop. Brave Goop went down. Neoporte went down. Face Connect went up 172%. So they're having a lot better uh, quarter compared to last quarter. Um, Nodi Pro looks like it's, 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 I forget who the N one was, now down 37%. This uh, Sony Music is up 134%. Aplan, Neobaka, and Vlast are staying kind of sim similar, except Aplan has 54 54% uptick. So that's always good. Statistic by brand, uh, the JP side on both had an increase. Hololive had 13, uh, Nidisanji had 20.4, Vispo had 5.2 down, Neoporte down, Holo Device is staying stable, looks like. Uh, others are going down as well. V is going up actually. Dot Live and Maha 5 Japan are all going up, but V is going up by 200%. That's really good. Now, the, the live streaming statistics by brand non JP. Hollow Life English has gone 103%. Nidisanji English is down 50%. This is something that we knew was going to happen because they're not supporting their talents as much as before. In fact, they're not even uh, factoring in their EN talents for any growth. So that's why things are going down because people are seeing that and they're not liking it either. Uh, the other Hollow Life section is down 3.6%. Face Connect is up 136%. Uh, this one, this English one right here is up down 24%, 28.4. Neobaka, Vlast, are, and Aka Virtual are staying around stagnant. Uh, Meridian Project, which is one I didn't even know existed, is up 1,800%. So it's up 18 times what they were the quarter before. And Springfish is up 112%. Looking at all the numbers of the uh, people who are the actual livers here. You have Kuzuha, which is up a certain amount of percentage, of course. Then you have Bekura. You have, uh, looks like Miko there, possibly. Miko, Subaru, uh, Aqua, uh, Koyori. Looks like that one is a Nidisanji person as well. So you have some ups and downs, of course, as you're going to have for anything. You're going to have ups and downs. And the uh, Kuzuha is staying up on top because Kuzuha is a beast when it comes to the JP side. So we're going on to the next one, which is part two, which is you have 26 through 30. You have a lot of uh, Hollow Life people. In the 26 through 30, you have a lot of Nidisanji people as well, which makes more sense. And uh, top 50 VTubers by tw top 20 live streams. You have Pekora, which is a freaking Pekora being crazy as she is. You have her here 1.7 million hours watched. Then you have each stream, you know, having the amounts. Kusoha doing well. Again, like I said, the, it looks like Sakura Komiko. Uh, that one there is uh, someone from Nidisanji. Then we have Aqua Marine, it looks like in this case. Subaru. The actual Nidhi Sanji channel, then you have more Nidhi Sanji uh, people in the top 13. So that's pretty darn good, honestly. And then you have, you know, Hollow Live covering 15 through 22, just about. And yeah, people going up and down. Finally, I mean, that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Finally, we have 26 through 50, and the 26 through 50 has a large majority being Hollow Live, and some here and there being uh, Nidhi Sanji, JP, it looks like for the most part. Yeah, these are all JP, it looks like. So yeah. Even Mori Calliope is English here. She tops up the top 50. Uh, JP are still powerhouses overall. As you can see, even in the top 12, top 25 here, you don't really see very many English. You see a couple of English, actually. You see down here, Hololive English. You have Koseki Biju. You have uh, Gura, because Gura hasn't been streaming as often as she normally would. If she was streaming fully, I'm pretty sure she would have had the large numbers. Uh, and then you have down there at the very bottom, 25, still very, very, very insane. Uh, Fuamoko being in the top 50 is still amazing for any VTuber, honestly. And then we have here, it says Vispo doesn't look like it's struggling from that data. Plus 5% is pretty much statistical noise. 774, on the other hand, has been losing 30% last year, every month for a while now. 
It's a pretty grim trajectory. Yeah, 774 is unfortunate because they had the Animare thing. They had, you know, they have good talents. It sucks. They have good talents. I don't know exactly what's going on with 774 because I have been a follower of theirs. It that just doesn't seem like they are being able to withstand the pressures that have been going on recently. So I hope that they do get better soon. And Device as well. Almost caught Nijian's tail. Uh, Bboost 50k viewers for that one Monster Hunter stream in 424 that is listed as their top stream second quarter are mostly bots. The viewer count drops back to normal 7500 two hours in out of nearly eight hour stream. Same thing happened today in our Elden Ring DLC. 82k viewers drops precipitously to 8k viewers. And this is a bot campaign by people who don't like her, by people who don't like uh, Hollow Life. They've been doing that not only to them, to Fuamoko, to others in Advent and uh, Justice and others, basically trying to discredit them, being like, look, they're botting. That's why they have all these great numbers. But we all know that it's just, it's, it's not necessarily Nidhi Sanji organizing it. Uh, it is very likely to just be uh, Nidhi Sanji Shills doing it. While this can be understood from a business perspective, because it is still their IP, the IP still does belong to Nidhi Sanji and no one else. This is scummy, 100% scummy. You, as a company, Nidhi Sanji, you decided to belittle her. You decided to throw her to the wolves and basically throw gasoline on her and try to light her on fire. You did that. You, in the termination notice, try to blame her for everything that happened, saying that she didn't follow uh, certain liver rules, etc., etc. You tried all of these things. And now you're reselling her merch. That is really messed up. That shows how money greedy that they are. Just looking from an outsider's perspective, it looks how it shows how money greedy they are. The person, Selene, isn't even there anymore. And it seems like things are being sold with her there. And I'm not sure if they're just doing it for the promotional aspect of her. Either way, it's scummy. If, even if they're not selling any actual merch and just doing this for the promotional aspect of it, of, you know, Selene being a well-known name, they are not a part of your company anymore. You don't see Hololive doing this. You don't see, I, I don't see any other companies doing this for terminated uh, livers. They just basically retire the full IP of the liver. They aren't even doing that with Kirio Koko, which they easily could have as a graduate. They could have done anniversary merch for her even as a graduate. You know, they could have done that in Hololife, and they don't do that because they're not scummy. They don't even have them in any official uh, visuals because, again, they aren't scummy. And here's their stuff. Roar Trip Goods. They have, you know, um, yep, they have Selen stuff. They do have Selen stuff here. They have the Dragoons, the old school Dragoons. Why? I don't know. And this is new stuff. Like, this is the actual Niji EN official store. This isn't just somebody supposedly making, like, a Photoshop thing of it. No, this is their actual official store. The die-cut cushions. It's just, why? Why do this? They're not actually reselling anything with Selene in it, including Ember die cutout cushion. But the fact that they're still promoting the top images is kind of weird. Like, on Twitter posts, just a picture with Luke and Fulger. Why include the one with Selene and Reibu on the actual website? That's what I'm saying. Even if they're not selling the actual merch, which they are selling Dragoon merch, it looks like. But nothing with Selen in it, but they're selling selling the Selen mascot, which, you know, involves Selen uh, Tatsuki's fan base. That still, to me, to me, is very scummy. And I still don't appreciate that they do that. But yeah, they're not actually selling her merch face. But yeah, it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't seem right. Uh, one-on-one -on -one scale figures must cost a lot, so they don't have any more money to spend on artists or developers. I wish they would just not, not do this, because, not like I said, not even Hololife or other people do this. You could say other large corporations do this all the time. Hololive hasn't done it. The memes are always a good place to be. And in this one, it is Marine saying she finally found a thing that turns her off. And it is Vox Akuma in the background. Uh, even though the kindred and the people that are see him as their lord, their liege, whatever, would happily disagree with this. But uh, she's not impressed. Unicorns attack. <laughs> of course, unicorns attack. Oh, God. It's going to be insane. And the next one is enough Yago wanking. Give me some Sakana and gun run wanks. Uh, that's how you treat people like people and not gouge them for money. Here's your order, Doki. Thanks for the Sakana. Looks great. Hey, Fishman, I'll have what she's having. Sorry, Riku, but that was our last cup of coffee. And of course, using that same one again and again. But this time, here we have gun run getting <laughs> next to his gun run. Oh, man. Gun run sh showing the gun run right there. And finally, Riku Tazumi, Sam Bankman Freed, spoon fed billionaire propped up by rich parents. Yes, although I think Riku may have been trust fund, but also he had a lot of investors. So that's maybe where, where they mean by, you know, propped up by parents in the sense that maybe that's how he got his connection to investors. We don't know, but that's a nice little Mr. Krabs meme there. This person is wondering why Nidisandi split 
all three concerts as separate tickets instead of selling it as a bundle or something like that and that caused them to cancel because of sales uh partly it is like it says here it's because uh they want niji's kind of like a no on the nose at the moment uh especially given some of the performers how much we'll never know but there was been overlap between the ticket sales there were people who stated that they were going to specifically go for the niji concerts so those ones could have shelled out for at least two if not all three that's why they did it so they can shell out for three instead of just for one should the en side be combined maybe core noir could have been separate standalone though with the way niji set up though with the way niji set up i don't know how much better their sales would have fared due to lack of exposure to the west but at the end of the day it wasn't for Selene's shock and the exposure of what the company really like, we wouldn't ha be having this conversation at all. Of course, I wouldn't be here having this conversation if the whole Nidhi Sanji thing didn't erupt the way it did, if they hadn't messed up on their own. Like, people always complain, why are you showing all these Niji L's? Aren't you getting tired of it? Well, honestly, I wish there weren't as many Niji L's because these Niji L's mean that the livers are suffering, and those are the people that I actually care about. I don't care about the company. The company could go down for all I care. But the reason why it sucks for the company to be suffering this much is because it makes the livers suffer. Suffer more than they already are. Because of the lack of support grows more and more distance. Like basically management gets worse. That they stick to the JP side. That type of stuff. It's just a lot of negativity that happens there. And I am just pushing this out there because I want them to change. I'm a tiny channel. I'm not, I myself, I'm not going to force change, but when other people look and then they change their behaviors based on what they see, that starts forcing some change. I mean, a combined concert won't really make it much better, which we'll make 20% ish full instead of the 10% might be true, but I think it'll make them look less bad. Yeah, it'll make them look less bad. But yeah, like a lot of people saying profit, Core Noir is separate because uh, it's the same 3D performance from the Japan concert. Male and female are separate because Fujos, yeah, you don't want males and females at the same place. Fujos and unicorns. So hopefully they learn from this, which I don't think they will, but we'll see. This is more cope from the Niji Sanji fandom, Niji Sanji defense forces, Niji Sanji sisters, whatever you want to call them. And this is why it's cope. As this person explains, they didn't follow any other plans. They didn't properly apologize. They failed almost every single promise they promised in some way or another. And four, haven't had a single good change. This is what they're talking about. It says, seeing that kind of discussion, I'm just going to say no matter what others say, this certain man sincerely apologized about what happened and laid out all the promises and plans for EN few months ago and well look at that he followed through i haven't seen any following through a lot of things are behind the scenes so i don't think we're ever going to see follow through i don't care what you say about this but at least as a fan you gotta admit the knowledge of developments good changes and promises that were followed and did for en uh you mean the promises of uh supporting them more yet they're saying that they're not going to be supporting them in the quarter four earnings report uh the livers tell a lot about b uh bts i don't know what you mean with bts uh more now because more now too and shares stuff to us so weird still seeing a fan keep refusing and not acknowledging it and they continue on saying uh all the good stuff haven't been getting since months ago and well more for later as well that's all so they're kind of coping i haven't seen any positive stuff not to mention the changes riku tasumi was talking about in the apology video etc would do nothing to address the issues people are actually up in arms about in terms of inadequate management for the en talents he basically said let's keep releasing content and that will make people get over this we also saw the effing job postings they showed no sign of changing the effing hiring strategy it's a huge one yes basically they're not changing anything and also remember in their quarterly response to you know investors they said that they have no plans of factoring in EN for any growth projections in the future, which means pretty much they're not going to be supporting them as big as, you know, much as like Hololive and others. They're pretty much going to be doing a holding pattern on that and not doing much else. All I have seen is Virtual Rhapsody, Niji Sami Center Concert, and Niji Anime Expo booth, top ticket contenders for Goku, Vegeta, Epic Battle Stage. All I have seen was constant drops in terms of revenue for Niji EN. All have been L's, yes. The 3D and the lives, that's it. Just shows fundamental difference between the NDF and everyone else. Events and lives appease fans who don't care about actual organizational change, improved management, and better conditions. The problem with Niji EN was never a lack of 3Ds and lives. People enjoyed the Niji EN even when they didn't have those things. It's jingling keys to distract from the next controversy. That's what they're doing. What we want, what I want, honestly what I want as a person who criticizes a company like that and other companies. In general, I want companies to support their talents with actual physical things to support their talents. Actually have good management. Actually, you know, if there's issues, deal with them properly instead of, you know, terminating a talent because they did something you didn't like. The cope just doesn't stop. The cope just doesn't 
end. And here we go with another Nadi Sandi uh, defender, sister, whatever you want to call them, NDF, uh, coping again. All the quotes and replies talking about how they like him for being a good CEO, which you know be that because he is very intentional about being in front of a camera and taking credit for successes. He gives his talents credit if you're talking about Yago. He's not there saying, me, me, me. I'm the one who's making everything great. He's like, focus on our talents. Look at this wonderful thing that's happening now. Look at Hollow Justice. Look at the things we're doing with, with, uh, with the Hollow Dodgers. Hollow Live and Dodgers. Go support them. It's not like, me, me, me. Like probably what Riku would do. He's like, okay, yes. I am the, the front of the corporation. He is the eyes. You know, he's the person who the eyes are on more than anything. He wants to be the spokesperson for it because he wants it to grow. And when you get that personal experience with somebody, you that's why he, that's why he becomes be called the best girl. That's why he is actually people's Oshis. Like for real, people's Oshis. That's why he has a fandom behind him because he has made himself a personable uh, being. He has made himself approachable, at least as much as a CEO can be approached because you know, he is a corporate CEO at the end of the day. Still, he knows good PR. And the thing is, they're getting angry at him for knowing good PR, but guess what? Riku doesn't. Riku could have done the same thing, but he didn't do it. Why? I don't know. Could be because he has too much of a love of money. Could be because he's a shy person like me. I don't know. It's like you're actively falling for PR propaganda and regurgitating it uncritically. Uh, its response to this person says, My hot take is that the parasocial worship of Yago is deeply embarrassing. Few as a fandom are worshipping the, the wealthy CEOs like gods and all that kind of stuff. Kyra makes a habit of making stuff and managers' characters in your experiences as a fan, so you feel connected to them. That's the smart part. Niji Livers speak very positively of their managers, but mention them much less, and the fandom certainly doesn't know them by nickname, ex Gorilla Main. Uh, Cover has made actively bad management decisions for some of the Oshis. Exactly, they have. They've made bad management decisions in the past, but they fix them. But the fan base as a whole is much less critical because there's much more positive feeling towards the management, which overrides any concerns. Anyways, any former K-pop fan will look at the Yago fan worship as similar to the YG, JYP, Bang PD, etc. worship and describe the immediate business benefit a company receives by endearing you to their CEO and how actually corrupt they can be behind the scenes. Of course, there can be corruption behind the scenes. We have not heard anything like that about Yago, so that is just a weird rat that they're popping out there. Um, like this person saying here, once again, being a CEO doesn't mean you're evil. The difference between those three and Riku is that the three are known for being passionate. Three, which is Gun Run, um, you know, Yago, Sakana, those three. They're being passionate about such things. We know their dreams. Riku only dreams about money and shareholders. There's a, no us in his dream. And remember, you have had like uh, Miko mentioned that she that C, the CEO of Cover, Yago, cried in front of her, like teared up because he felt that he did not support her when she needed support. Early on, he felt that the company was failing her because she wasn't getting she wasn't getting numbers early on. They were supporting her as much as they could, but her numbers were really low until like the GTA 5 thing, and more people started seeing her, and then all these wonderful things happened. But in the beginning, Miko, you had Suisse, you had a freaking Lamy and other people that that are telling stories again and again and again of Yago saying to them, I'm sorry for not supporting you, saying I will do better, saying these things directly to your employees makes them love you and then makes them go in front of their fans and be like Yago is such an amazing person he's like an uncle you don't get that with with uh Riku you get that with Sakana where he gets made fun of by by the girls you get that with Gun Run where they talk you know about how positive he is how he tries to help them with mental health and all these other and any other technical things as well you see all of these stories come out and it did none of them come out for Riku that is what makes the big difference. None of this comes out for Riku. Tandem CEOs are a bunch of greedy a-holes. A good CEO is so damn rare. There's nothing wrong with fans being proud of even bragging about a CEO, as they're saying here. The agency is good or have good image because everything going to affect the talents that the fans love positively. A lot of fans know the line. At the end of the day, it's all business. For, C for Yago, it's all business. Decisions get made on a business standpoint. He's doing the PR for business as well, of course. Uh, but if the talent's not negatively affected by it, the fans will not mind it that much. Of course, companies openly explain why they take that decision and try to make the fans understand it even better. Because even though the company make a bad decision, at least the fans know that the company still wants to communicate with the fans. Even though it's all business, a CEO with a good image is good for the talent. Exactly, like I said. And I will leave it at that for you guys. This is taken directly from Summer Jam and 
this person is saying that they think the 3D model for shoe quality is pretty bad. I think it's a lot of lighting, especially right now here, especially what they're showing. It looks like a lot of bad lighting compared to, for example, Oga here. Yeah, it just looks like bad lighting. They, they just put a lot of light on it. It seems like it does look like noob looking, poor quality, rushed effort, poor shoe. I hope shoe gets his dream to become an idol job better elsewhere. Like people are hoping he gets better jobs elsewhere. But I mean, if shoe's happy where he is, then shoe is fine. It's fine, you know. In my opinion, it's fine for them to be where they want to be. Uh, the same company that is known for the technology for VTubers back then. Yeah, they were known a lot for technology back in the day. In fact, Niji Sanji in their um, virtual reel, I believe, that's their, their, their uh, combination with uh, Billy Billy, they are mainly doing technology for Billy Billy there. They're not really actually putting any VTubers there. Lighting is bad. Someone I know is playing Kingdom Hearts again, and Shu could possibly be a boss fight in those games. He looks almost like he was upscaled from an early PS3 game. Feels like poor camera choice, uh, completely fine. The main issue is lighting. It's one of the most important in cinema and even more so when they are weird proportions. And here we go of another one. Yeah, this doesn't look so bad. This here doesn't look so bad compared to, you know, other things. Lighting is the problem from what it looks like. Uh, somewhat too porcelain and unexpressive. But again, if you don't have correct shadows, you have too much, too much lighting. It can actually become an issue like is shown here. Aside from the lighting being very unflattering, there seems to be a lot of corners cut on the models and in 3D in general, except for choreographed parts. The proportion and rigging don't seem to be amazing either from what it looks like. But yeah, it's just, I think they took also a lot of liberties with, you know, just making things a lot, cutting corners, making it a lot easier for them. But lighting does have a lot to do with this. Here's another VTuber who, for whatever random reasons, ended up being banned, at least a temporary ban. Elora Pard, uh, no specific information on where the violation occurred with generic reason for the ban. With the hundreds of hate bots, I have been receiving since last month just for being a VTuber. And now this ban, this is rough. I did sub submit an appeal. We will see. Oh no, why? I'm so sorry. I hope they fix it soon. I hope they do too. You don't deserve this. I'm sorry this happened. Vampikins. Of course, I, I also follow Elora. I follow actually Elora as, you know, in my Twitch. This is crap. I'm so sorry. Boo, they need to release my, be my baby. Uh, oh no, Elora. Just watched your live yesterday. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I hope to get fixed soon. And yeah, it's really weird that this stuff is happening. Like, it's just a leopard. I've watched their streams before. It's a cute leopard. That's all it is. They actually have a, a um, I believe, a, a mascot that they usually have to cover the booba. And it's like, okay, I can understand. Well, I mean, with the recent, with the, oh, with the, okay. I can, I can understand now. With the recent stuff that's been happening with Twitch, Twitch hates this. Twitch absolutely hates that. Absolutely hates that. So I can understand why they did it. It's probably something about their... Um, their dress policy, their, their dress code that they have recently, they hit VTubers a lot harder than usual. So I can, I can actually see why they're doing it. Doesn't make sense to me, but I can see based on their new policies and the fact that they seem to hate VTubers a lot, uh, is why they're doing this probably. Welcome back everybody to the VTuber showcase for today. This is Mirai Xavier. She is a local gremlin oracle bun mitten, bun mitten, bun kitten, bun mitten. I don't know. They're celebrating the release of Final Fantasy's expansion, and they did a giveaway for the uh, expansion here mentioned. The uh, Dawn Trail, I believe it's called, the expansion here. They have a, uh, a bunny as their mascot here, and they are doing Kingdom Hearts as we speak. They are a fun VTuber to watch. I've watched them myself. I uh, am subscribed on my main channel to them, and... They have done a lot of fun little things like right here, just to show you a little bit Oliver, of what's going on. what's your most devious act you've done? Oliver responds with a mischievous gleam in his eyes. My most devious act was stealing a whole loaf of bread and scatter crumbing it through the house. Pause up for sassy adventures. Meow. He pissed on my Ugg boots. Oh, dear lordy. <laughs> that was the sassiest thing he had ever done. Devious, whatever. Okay. So there we go. That's a little bit of a taste of um, of that. Right now they are doing a charity stream for the Trevor Project on their Twitch. Uh, by the time this comes out, they're probably already going to be done because they're three hours in right now. I just wanted to be able to show another little showcase of another VTuber. You know, someone that I follow, someone that I want to promote. I want to give them a little bit of the, the reach that they deserve and a little bit, you know, 
of good positive vibes going in the VTuber community, trying to help out in any way that I can. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now, because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.